And welcome, folks. Happy Valentine's Day. It is February 14th, and I'm here with my special Valentine, Professor Dayton, and I'm prepared to go forward. I am not a cat. If you haven't seen that video, you really ought to see that video. All right, so things that are going on in the class this week, you turned in your first assignment uh, last week. If you're in the large section, serial part one. And if you're in the large section, you turn in serial part two this Thursday. Uh, we are also looking at business ethics and the social responsibility of business this week. Professor Dayton, what do you think about business ethics? Well, the first thing I think is hopefully you all know the movie Billy Madison. So I need you to all watch Billy Madison and the business ethics part. But um, to me, top of mind right now, I mean, when Professor Osmanic and I teach MBA classes and things like that, I think of business ethics as codes of conduct where businesses require their vendors or the people they do business to follow certain codes of conduct, whether it's labor laws and things like that. Um, but now it's even more, I mean, people have more trust in business now than in the government. And they're looking for the businesses to affect social change. Um, and that's very recent. I mean, I'd say that's just the past six months to a year that that's really come up. So uh, cutting edge stuff, Professor Osmani. Yeah, we, it is kind of interesting because we tend to think about historically, you know, government stepping in to impose some kind of ethics or morals on business. We think about the Triangle Shirtwaist factory fire that led to, you know, labor laws. We think about child labor practices in the U.S. that led to, you know, some of those things. And now it's it's almost uh, like you said the the other way around. So it's a really good opportunity for business students. Uh, to go out and make some change in the world because we have credibility now as uh, business people that maybe we didn't always have. So um, if you didn't know, um, this class will count as an elective toward your sustainability certificate. Um, so that is one of the many reasons that we focus on these topics. And if you need more info about that, there's a little bit in the syllabus and you can look up the sustainability certificate online uh, at UIOA. So uh, other fun things this week, I'm gonna share a screen with you. We are not into the criminal law uh, chapter yet, but this was just too good to pass up. Um, and basically the administration of an entire Iowa town has been arrested. It's a small town I have not been to. This is Armstrong, Iowa, which is in Emmett County, close to the Minnesota border. Perhaps some of you have been there or from there, but the mayor, police chief, city clerk, and former city clerk have been uh, charged and arrested, including charges of joint criminal conduct, which is essentially gang participation in a way. Uh, the mayor bum, which you can't make this up, and I apologize if this is anybody's dad in the class or uncle, um, but there were 21 uh, felony and misdemeanor charges. Perhaps the incident that most sticks out is that they had uh, a uh, arrangement by which if you made a cash payment, the police would go and tase someone for you. So that is uh, something that's really uh, special. I don't think you usually uh, get to do those kind of things. But it's another uh, thing where we talk about accountability in government and why we look to uh, good leaders to ferret out this kind of behavior and prosecute this is being prosecuted by the Iowa Attorney General's office. And I'm not sure uh, where the investigation came from, but many of these come from our state auditor's office. And if you uh, look in our uh, videos. We have a 2018 uh, interview from Rob Sand, who is um, now our state auditor. At the time, he had recently just left the Iowa Attorney General's office. So they do uh, audits of these different state governments and agencies and sometimes find this wrongdoing. Another thing that we have in terms of Iowa leaders uh, this week is Professor Dayton did an interview with our Lieutenant Governor and I have posted that uh, he is an attorney and our uh, second in command of the executive branch in charge of enforcing the laws. Uh, so we have that. Um, also, I'm going to make available uh, to you the 
interview Professor Dayton did last semester with our um, one of our new Iowa Supreme Court justices, Justice McDermott. So the uh, judicial branch in charge of saying what the law is. And we are going to have another very special executive branch uh, interview that's coming soon. I haven't edited it yet, so I'll just kind of tease that. But uh, Professor Dayton is out there getting really great interviews of some of our leaders for you guys so you can see how government works. Um, all right, guys. Well, it is uh, six degrees below zero right now, wind chill close to negative 30. Warmer temperatures are on the way. Hang in there. And uh, as always, stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>